on today's home for the adventure, we're gonna look at a house we're gonna walk to that's not too far from our neighborhood. It's about, what, four blocks away maybe? If you've been around long enough in the business, that's the cool part, if you've been around long enough in business, and this is gonna to talk to you guys who are just starting out, you've got to stay the course because this house was available 10 years ago. Yep. 10 years ago, we saw that it was in disarray and disrepair and just nasty. So anyways, we've been watching it for a long time. Somebody had it rented for a long time. There's people that actually, well, that's a long story. <laughs> they, they threw tenants in here. Um, and so the bank just took it over. And then the company that we do a lot of business with uh, uh, let us know that it was back on the market. Actually, no, I went for a walk the other day with our kids that's and right. saw it. I'm sorry, you were correct. Yeah. Thanks for correcting me again on the Home Living Adventures. <laughs> no problem, honey. We're going to change the name to the Correcting Glenn <laughs> Schwarm Show. We're, we're in the heart of the COVID uh, prices or, or crisis pandemic. Or pandemic right now. And so, you know, we're out walking. We are social distancing. Well, not from each other because we're married, right? I think she wants to social distance, but she's not going to social distance for me. <laughs> Why are you squeezing my hands so tight all right, of right. a sudden? <laughs> so anyway, so we decided to walk here today and take a look at this house. Here's the, here's the thing. The banks have taken these houses off the market. They don't even want to sell them right now. So what we're doing is preparing, right, during this pandemic, we are preparing to have offers ready. So when I hear that they're gonna go back on the market, I can have my offers in the door before, before anything happens. So we are, we are you know, always preparing to attack. And so when it comes back on, I know they're asking too much money for this house, but we're gonna go in and decide what we're gonna do, take a look at it and get our offer ready. Matter of fact, I'm gonna grab my home flipping evaluator and we can go through and do a checklist right here, get a price put together, see what we can pay and go from there. The, right, neighbor, so, the neighbors put up a nice fence. They probably didn't wanna look at the house. I'm sure it's been many years, looks like this. So take a look at the side here. This is, this is what the neighbors are looking at all the time. Pretty, don't you think? I feel like Vanna White, pretty, don't you think? So listen, we go through our checklist. We're gonna go through and look, roof and chimney. We need, to, we need to replace the roof. Although, if it's gonna be a rental, that might be a different discussion. I did notice something up here. Take a look at this. See all the holes up there? Definitely got some bug damage. Oh yeah. I don't know how active it is, there's definitely some bug damage up there. That could be woodpeckers though. There's woodpeckers in this neighborhood. Soffit, obviously the soffit has got vents on it, which is interesting, but it looks like there, it needs to be covered. But house exterior, we gotta side this bad boy. Oh yeah. Right? Do you think eight grand, eight grand's too much, <clears throat> don't you think to do this? Eight grand for siding? Yeah, this is a pretty small house. Yeah, but it's two story. I think it, just put eight. You think eight? Well, plus we don't know if materials are gonna go up after all this either. <laughs> hey, it's a new window. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It didn't fit. Obviously. All right. It, it so was obviously a, we need we need we need new roof. You know, the roof needs to be new. New siding, all that kind of stuff. So electrical panel looks okay. Yeah, if you see this hanging down on a high house, you just never know. So just you Be safe, not don't sorry. Touch and this stuff. Don't ah! touch it. Unless you're like Glenn and you know, you say don't touch something and he touches it. That's where our son gets it from. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so driveway. I think you leave it, right? This is probably gonna be a rental. We're thinking maybe an Airbnb, we don't know. It's in our well, neighborhood, we like to have we have a lot of rentals around here, so we can like to have rentals near our home. Not that we we don't manage them. Honey, this driveway is rough. This Seriously, needs a new you driveway. Are, you are overspending like crazy. Love you, but if you want a, you want a driveway, we can't buy the house. I can tell you right now, there's no room for a budget for five grand for a new driveway. So we make a compromise and we turn it into an Airbnb, but as soon as the Airbnb starts making money, we put a driveway in. I can, I can compromise with that. All right, let's go in. Oh, right. this used to be a front porch. Yeah, clearly. Ooh. You know, the front door is okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay? Before we go any further, let's discuss what this is worth when it's done. I think you're thinking this is gonna be some mansion. It's, I think, 1,200 square feet. It's a two bedroom with a small office and two bathroom. It's a tiny house. How much do you wanna spend? So there's two sides to that. I'm good at the design and you're good at the numbers. We can't make the numbers work if the design's not gonna look good. I'm just being honest with you. Do you wanna spend- But not every house works. Maybe this house won't work then. Uh, not for you. I may buy it. <laughs> so go ahead. Good, you can sleep in it too. Good. Oh, isn't, isn't she cute? Just needs a new kitchen, right? Yes. Will you do the kitchen out there? Will you put a pass-through in there? Yes. So that's a small pass-through, but I just wonder if you wanna do that. What, is it worth it, not worth it? Because it's already pretty open here. Well, yeah, but that's the living room. This is, yes, that needs a bar. Okay, what do you do with the floor? 
The floor is hardwood all the way through here, but here. It's gonna look funny with a different hardwood floor here. It will. So I probably just recover this whole thing with you bamboo or right. something, yes. Now there's forced hot air. I wanna make sure I look at that downstairs. Uh, and a radiator. I need to make sure there's enough room for appliances though. If we take that wall out. I don't think you take the wall out. I think you, if anything, you put the- A, a bar. A, right, just but I still need room a low, for a, a low I, bearing wall. But I still need room for appliances. So fridge, dishwasher. I'll probably have to keep a section of this and just take a portion of it out because I need room for a stove. Here's a bedroom, I guess. It's a Cracker Jack box. This is not a whore, I mean, it's tiny. If you're talking about an Airbnb, I have to think about furnishing it. Yeah. I, I don't, so, so here's, so here, so listen, here's the deal when you're looking for an Airbnb or a rental. Here's my advice to you, our advice to you. Buy it so that you can rent it and make a profit normally, like a normal rental, especially in today's climate. We don't know how Airbnbs are gonna do, we don't know. So they're asking 94,000 for this house. The house is worth 150,000 all day when it's done. So there's, there's a very tight budget. An Airbnb is not gonna be a good Airbnb if I can't even fit a bed in there. Okay. If all I can fit is a twin size bed in there and there's a couple staying here, what good is that? Yes, dear. Love you. Well, you're not thinking clearly. You're thinking like impulsively. You're smart, smart. What were they thinking? It's a hot tub, it's a jacuzzi. The bath, the shower needs to go here and the toilet needs to go there. Oh, that's a nice look. It's plexiglass. So a new door or just new glass? Um, glass is fine. What, what is this, a little patio? I don't know about a patio. Maybe this, you make this... another bedroom. Let's go downstairs. So I see all the vents. Where's the furnace? There's oil, heat. Well, here's where the furnace was because here's the exhaust and the return. And here's all the pipes. So somebody stole the furnace. The furnace used to be here. I wonder if the bank knows that, because they are asking too much. Oh, we seem to be okay, let's go panel. Uh, a little rust, but not bad. Hot water heater, okay. So that seems to be okay, some new wiring in the house. I don't see any old, unacceptable wiring. It's small, but it should work. So what's the foundation look like? I mean, we're, you know, relatively square. Yeah, I mean, she, you know, a little damp. It is, but we've had so a lot of rain too. Where's it's... the washer and dryer? Right here. Uh, yeah. So where is that gonna go? That's not ideal with no. that basement the way it is. So I'm telling you, we're gonna make this work. We gotta, we gotta try and keep renovations to probably, if at all possible, we gotta try and keep like in the 20 range, 25 to 30 range. It's a small house. We'll run the numbers here in a minute. But it needs almost everything. So even a small wow. house, it needs, well, honey, we need furnace, we need roof, we need siding, we need a lot of windows. Well, I don't know if we need roof, because if we're gonna do a rental, we could hang out to the roof for a while and decide if we, you know what I mean? Yeah. We could put, no one's gonna not rent the house because the roof doesn't look great. So this bathroom's got a better shape to it than the other one. Wow, this is okay, right? And that I could actually keep. Okay, well that saves. We could, we could live with that. I'm not keeping that vanity though. No, not paint. Possibly. New, new top and paint it maybe. Possibly. So that's the bath. So there's one that one small bedroom that you want to make bigger downstairs, which we could make bigger. And we're gonna put all new flooring in. <coughs> this see. closet's as big as that bedroom downstairs. Hey, the floors are bigger hardwood. Oh, there's a nice critter living in here. God, hold on. Look at the floors. <coughs> These are hardwood floors up here. Are they really? Yes. That is from a critter. That's a squirrel. Does a squirrel making a bed? What's the problem? Honestly, the roof is probably, the roof, from what I'm seeing here, the roof's got a few more years on it. So this room, I could easily put, I could easily put a king size bed, maybe even a queen size bed in here. But this bedroom's okay by itself, right? Yeah, this bedroom's fine. I'm happy with this bedroom. So we got some sheetrock to deal with. We got some taping issues. That's compound. Again, hardwood floors. I see, so you know what I don't see up here? Are any vents. Why, why did they do this? Why did they why make this bedroom so big and this bedroom so small? Well, this is tiny. There's not a whole lot you can do with it though. If you make the one downstairs bigger, this will be the small bedroom. I could fit bunk beds right there. They'd be in front of the window or one twin bed. This would be probably a kid's room, so I could, that fine, that's fine. 
Okay. All new doors, though. Yeah. yeah raised panel doors. Yeah, these ra raised panel doors. He agreed with me on something. I don't see forced hot air there's up here. There's no forced hot air. But there's radiators. Yeah, there's radiators, but you can't put you can't put new boiler in new front. You know what I mean? I no. saw there's a there's a weird combination. So if you had to put a new furnace and stuff. I saw some was that electric heat in their other room? Yes. That's electric heat. So oh, ideally no you're putting here. forced hot air in the house, right? But you gotta find how to get it up here. And I don't know where the chimney is. The chimney. Hold on, let me think. The chimney was over here. I bet the chimney's right here. So we can cut that same chase because we won't be using the chimney anymore. Well, there's. A, I bet it's right behind this linen closet. So we yeah. have to somehow the get chimney, from there to here. Right here. So someplace we have to get up here if you want to do that, or we put it up in the attic and come down with it. Eh, that's not ideal, but it's possible. This is a nice look here. Don't know what this is in the bedroom, but it's kind of a strange look. But all kinds of crazy stuff in the house. More squirrelage. So I'd rather not have. I'm okay with one small bedroom. But I'd rather not have two small so what bedrooms. Do you want to do, how big do you want to make this one? I, I would probably bring it out right to where this window is. Is you it know? gonna be weird? I guess if this is all one floor and we get rid of that radiator, we have sort of a normal living size room. room. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's still plenty big enough for the living area. It's gonna be weird with the stairs, kind of this, this wall covering the stairs. No, I don't think that'll be weird at all. Or we don't bring, we, maybe we don't move the doorway. Maybe we just come out from here. Maybe we leave the door right where it is. Okay, that would be cheaper. Just bring this wall out so that I have, <clears throat> I'd have to put it on paper and measure it out yeah. to make sure I have room for a queen size bed. So let's look here real quick. So house exteriors would be eight grand. Driveway, <clears throat> let's not do the driveway for now. Deck and fence, we're okay for right now. Landscaping, you figure maybe 800 bucks. Uh, front door, I put 500 bucks. Windows, there's probably about six windows need to be replaced. So six times three, I'm gonna call it two grand for windows. Basement, I think, do we paint? Do we even do anything with it? Paint it. So a thousand bucks to do that. Paint the basement. We're gonna have to have a new furnace and it's not gonna be just three grand. We have to get some, we have to get vents around. So we gotta figure out how to do that. So I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna put five grand down for heating. Electrical service is okay right now. Plumbing, is, you know. Looks to be okay. Framing a sheetrock, and remember that kitchen, we put 10 grand for that. Full bathroom, I think downstairs is gonna cost 300 bucks to have that, have that done. Seems like a lot for that small little bathroom, but is it that much, yeah, you think? Yeah, probably. All right, so between the bathrooms, we can that, you think, you think we can get away with, with the shower, so you think we can get away with 4,000 total. Interior doors, we talked about, 50 bucks each, so 500 bucks. Interior paint, 1,500 square foot, 3,000 bucks. We'll call it that, because it's got taping compound and stuff to do, lighting and curtain rod package. Do we need that much, you think? I don't think so. Put a thousand. Else. You think a thousand? Yep. You you told this up? I am. How much you at? Thirty-five seven. <sighs> That's discouraging. I also, you know, we aren't even done yet. Well, unless I take less for it. So so existing floor, so hardwood flooring, so flooring throughout. What's going to cost to put all new flooring downstairs and then upstairs or refinish the upstairs, whatever it's going to be? I don't think it's a lot of square footage, but. How many square feet is the house? I don't you know. You don't know? I don't Probably know. 1,200? I think max, yeah, 1,200. So 1,200 times five? 1,200 times five? 6,000. So I'll put 5,000. Do you think for all the floors? Yeah, I do, honey. Well, oh, this, this deal's yeah, that's the kitchen too. Sitting here. So this is part of being disappointed when you're going through a house. You know, I, this, this is in our neighborhood, so we can't buy emotionally. But I don't want someone else coming to my neighborhood and buying a house off underneath me. So I have to really take a look at what we can do with this house and how we can make it work. Um, because I gotta see what the numbers are to come back at. Right now, as it sits, what they're asking, these numbers do not work. Demo and clean out, I mean, we need a dumpster here, so 600 bucks, whatever. Permits, whatever. so put, put another thousand bucks for that stuff. So 6,000, so what's the total at? 38,000. 38,000 bucks. You put Noobs Factor in there, you're really at 40 grand, right? Yep. So no matter what you do to make this house, th so what you're doing with the house really is making it flippable the size of the roof. Right. Right, so after a pair of value in this house, after a pair of value in this house, I'd say totally finished, it'd be a three bedroom, two bath. Yes. Yeah, so I'd, I'd say probably in the 160 range is probably what, what it's worth. Get your calculator out please. 160 times 70%. 112. Minus 40,000. 72. So as Irony would have it, that's not too terribly far off. They're asking 94, and the, I know he's already trying to tell them to go down lower, so if we paid 72 for it, 
then it would work. I mean, if we make the argument that, you know, the furnace is gone, yeah. I wonder if it was gone when they, were, they came in and did their appraisal. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so bottom line is if we can pay 72000 for this house, when it comes back in the market, when all this craziness from the COVID crap passes, we can hopefully make a deal on this thing and, uh, and buy it. If we had to pay a little more, we could absorb it because I believe we'd make it up in... Airbnb. It's got a beautiful, you know, it's got a beautiful neighborhood. It's quiet. Airbnb would do wonderful here. It's small, but we'd probably get, I bet you we'd pull in 3000 a month for it. Well, it's probably, probably 2500 on the worst case scenario. So I think it would do well. You know and what I mean? It's not as big as our other Airbnbs, so. No, so it wouldn't take as much to fill it. Right. Maybe eight, four, five, six grand? I don't know. No. Not the way probably you fill eight. things. Yeah, I know. I like this. All right. I probably need eight grand to furnish it. So eight grand to furnish it. So, all right. So that's what we'll come back. We'll come back and we'll update everybody with how we did with this one. If we got the deal when, when all this COVID craziness passes and we don't kill each other before <laughs> that. So we still love each other. All right. We'll see you in the next one.